Let's take a look at place value. Now, place value is really important in order to work out the value of any digit in a number. So on the screen here, we've got a really large number, which is the number 42,693,587. It's just a number that I picked at random. Now, going from right to left, let's take a look at what each column represents. So the first column is our units column, otherwise known as our ones column. The next column is our tens. The next column is the hundreds then the next column is our thousands. So hopefully you see the pattern here. As we move to the left, each column is 10 times greater than the column before. So one times 10 is 10, times 10 is 100, times 10 is 1000. So this column here is going to be the 10 thousands column. This column here is gonna be the 100 thousands column. This column here is our millions column. And this column here, I mean, this number's stupidly big really this is our 10 millions column so if we were asked what is the value of the 5 in this number well the 5 is in the 100s column so that's 5 multiplied by 100 so the value of the 5 is 500 the value of the 8 is 8 lots of 10 which is 80 the value of the 7 is 7 lots of 1 which is 7 the 3 is 3 lots of a thousand 3000 Nine is nine lots of 10,000, 90,000, etc. Now let's look at how we actually say numbers or how we write them down in words. Now this is a really, really complicated number and it's almost impossible to read. It almost needs some punctuation. So what I would suggest is going from the right to the left, put a comma in after every group of three. So one, two, three, comma, one, two, three, comma, one, two, three, comma. It doesn't have to be a comma, it could be a space. Uh, but they're just breaking the number up a little bit is going to make it so much easier to um, to write down. Now, as we go from right to left, the first comma represents the word thousand. The next column, comma rather, represents million. The next comma represents billion. So now all we need to do is read this as a three digit number. So 684, say the word billion, 673 say the word million, 907, say the word thousand, and then just read that final three digit number. So in this number will be read as 684 billion, 673 million, 907,752. Going the other way around, if we need to write this, uh, I mean, this is again, quite an extreme example, I would start at the back here at the end. So 212, we're gonna write as 212, three digits. So we're gonna put a comma in front of it. So we've got rid of that bit. And the next bit is 600,000. Now remember the thousand is represented by this comma. So all we need to do is write the number 600. Before it, we've got 402 million. Well, the million is this comma here. So all we need to do is just write down now the number 402. And the final part of the number is 200 billion. So billion is represented by this comma here. And now we just need to write the number 200. And there we have it. That's how you write the number 200 billion, 402 million, 600,212. Easy to practice this. Just write down a ridiculously long number, practice saying it, or write a number out in words, and then see if you can convert it into numbers. Making sure you put commas for billions, millions, thousands. Now, positive and negative numbers cause um, a lot of problems, well, particularly negative numbers. And a lot of the time, you can make life a lot easier for yourself if you draw a simple number line. So zero in the middle, going to the right, one, two, three, four. So as we go to the right, we are um, increasing, the numbers are getting bigger. So going to the right is getting bigger. And for negative numbers, remember the first negative number is minus one. So it's like a mirror image of the positive numbers, uh, except with a minus sign in front of them. So, and as we go to the left, we are getting smaller. I know this all seems really obvious and I'm pretty sure you know that four is bigger than two, but a lot of people struggle with the negative numbers. Because you know four is bigger than two, if I said to you, well, what is bigger, minus four or minus two, that makes some people 
think and a lot of people get it wrong and it'd be good if you didn't have to think so hard about what is really quite an easy thing if you do a number line so if you do a number line you know as you go to the left you're getting smaller if that's not obvious remember just look at the positive numbers bit here is a four here is a two we're going to the left two is definitely less than four we know we're going down so we're we're getting smaller we're getting smaller we're getting smaller minus four is on the left hand side of minus two so minus four is smaller than minus two. If you're comparing minus three and minus one, well, which is bigger? We're getting bigger if we're going to the right. For example, we know that four is bigger than two. So therefore minus one must be bigger than minus three. I know th three is bigger than one, but minus three is smaller than minus one. That's what makes it so confusing. It's the, it's the opposite of the positive numbers. But doing a number line will definitely help you here.